Baruch Hashem, today is day number 60 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters of Dev Mishnah Torah, we're finishing Hilchas Shkalem. There are four chapters total. Yesterday we did chapters one, two, and three. So today we do chapter four. We're finishing Hilchas Shkalem. And so I'll say the mitzvah corresponding to that. It's the same as yesterday. There's only one positive commandment, only one commandment that corresponds to the laws of Shkalem. So I'll say it again, positive 171 that we learned yesterday. We're repeating it again, uh, as we do in uh, the way that we study Sefer Mitzvahs is corresponding to the daily study of three chapters of Mishnah Torah. So when uh, sometimes we have a set of halachas that span many, that spans many days, and if it only corresponds to one mitzvah, then we'll have that mitzvah on uh, consecutive days. So again, positive command 171, we did it yesterday, I won't repeat all the details, but it is the mitzvah to give a half shekel flat tax during the time of the holy temple. Okay, and then in the three chapters today, we start a new set of laws, Hilchus Kiddush HaChodesh, the laws of sanctifying the new month, which really means the laws of the entire Jewish system for the calendar. Uh, these are very complex laws. It's going to go on, I think, for seven days. Today is day 60 of Sefer Mitzvahs, I think, uh, our last day of Hilchas Kiddush HaChodesh will correspond to day 66 of Sefer Mitzvahs. So um, we're going to have plenty of days to speak about this mitzvah. Therefore, I will just um, speak about it very briefly today because we'll have many days to speak about it, God willing. Positive Commandment 153. Positive Commandment 153 is based on the verse, HaChodesh Hazel Lochem Reish Chadoshim, this month. What month? The month when this happened. Hashem is speaking to Moshe, to Moses, before they even left Egypt, and telling him, this month, the month of Nisan, the month of the redemption, will be for you the head of the months, meaning the beginning of the calendar year. And that is the basis of, for the mitzvah to keep a calendar with all of the rules that are included in how the Jewish calendar must be maintained. It is a primarily lunar calendar, which makes adjustments for the discrepancy between the lunar and solar uh, cycles, uh, a 12, 12 months of actual lunar cycles is not the same as a solar year. There is a discrepancy, and there's a whole system that we use in order to keep our months true months, and yet to keep our holidays in the same seasons of the year uh, without that discrepancy piling up. I'm not going to get into details today because, as I said, we have many days to talk about this mitzvah, and we will see you, God willing, tomorrow.